tool Mandy Hobbs here. I'm about to show you some broke bitch meals real quick. And I wanna tell you why I'm freaked the F out because uh, we don't have stuff like this back home. So, I'm making an egg sandwich. Yeah, buddy. Um, and I, You should just put like a little drop of olive oil, like a baby drop in your skillet before your butter because uh, your butter won't burn. You know, beans don't burn on the grill. The oil keeps your butter from, so there's our toast. I don't have a toaster. Okay. So here's what just freaks me out. Because, you know, this broke bitch mafia is new to me, but I'm going to handle it like a beast. So I put some um, Louisiana hot sauce in here, some salt, some pepper, two eggs. And um, so I bought milk like this Kroger. I never shopped at a Kroger except for when I was like five with my grandma. I didn't have one in my area. But now there's a place called Smith & Kirk. So I bought this and I just cook with it. Because I don't drink milk. Because the kinds of people who drink milk are psychopaths. Facts. And, um, like, they just drink milk straight. Have you ever met a normal person that does that? I'll wait. All right. So, anyway, I start to pour it. And I'm kind of paranoid because I don't use it a lot. I only use it when I cook. And I normally only cook for other people. But I'm broke and I'm not going to justify sending money. Because every day I'm hustling, hustling. All right. So, let me toast that. That's how you do that. So, <laughs> anyway, I look at it and I'm like, shake it up. I smell it and I'm kind of like, but like, milk doesn't always, like, you know when milk is sour, but like, milk always kind of has like a, oh, like, smell to me. Cause like, I don't know, I just think people that drink it are for real, for real creeps. My mom drank it by the glass little. She grew up on a farm. Like, her sisters, they're all fucking weirdos. I love y'all though. <laughs> but anyway, um, you guys know what I'm saying. If you ever met somebody that drink milk, you know. All right, so my bread's toasted. Um, but here's the weird thing. We all know milk. Like, what are they putting in that? Here, let me put my eggs in here. Oh, I got to scramble them. Hold up. A little hot sauce. I did put this weirdo shit in here, but I got to tell you guys about this. This is, this is the whole point of my video, actually. Let me turn this on. So, <clears throat> milk. This is milk. It doesn't say, like... Part milk, it says milk. Um, now we all know how long good milk is good for, right? Today is January 2nd, 2021. Okay, so chances are the way I use milk, this could have been bad yesterday, but maybe I got a few days on it. So I'm like, so I go to read the date. I can not make this up, guys. I, here's the date. It says... Best by May 18th, 21. That's a typo, okay? Or what kind of genetically modified bullshit, let me put some cheese in it, speaking of that, uh, is going on right here? Who's ever heard of milk that you open in January? <laughs> Sorry, this isn't the professional taping. This is just, wow, what some bullshit this is. Let me pop on here and make a video. What kind of genetically modified bullshit I put the wrong cheese in. I wanted Velveeta. I just. What kind of genetically modified stuff is this that is good till May of this year? What kind of milk is that? You can keep that. I don't even like milk in the first place. Now I'm super weirded out, Kroger. Anyway, shout out from the 702. We don't drink milk like that in the 314. Late.